Telecommunications in Madagascar include newspapers, radio, television, fixed and mobile telephones, and the Internet. Widespread poverty and illiteracy severely limit the penetration of television, print media, and the Internet, making radio by far the most important communications medium in the country. Newspapers L'Express de Madagascar, Private Daily Midi Madagascara, Private Daily Madagascar Tribune, Private Daily La Gazette de la Grande Isle, Private Daily La Croix, Cross, Catholic Weekly Press freedom While the constitution provides for freedom of the press, the ability of the press to criticize the regime is severely limited. In particular the absence of a communications code protecting press freedoms allows authorities to prosecute journalists under libel law and the criminal code whenever the content of their reporting offends the facto regime. In November 2012 the de facto Minister of Communications stated that assertions harming the general interest were banned from public media. Gendarmes interrogated the editor-in-chief of Le Courier de Madagascar for several hours in April 2012 after he ran a story entitled, "'Governance the brothel takes hold at high levels''. Investigative journalists are often targets of threats and harassment from authorities. In May 2012 police stopped a journalist from Le Verret, a pro-regime newspaper, on his way to cover an event in Antananarivo. Police reportedly beat him and broke his arm. All journalists released on bail remain subject to re-arrest at any time. <inaudible> Radio and television Radio stations, state-owned Radio Nacional Malagasy RNM, has an extensive national network reach, privately owned radio broadcasters in cities and major towns, state-run radio dominates in rural areas, relays of two international broadcasters are available in the capital, Antananarivo 2007, Malagasy National Radio RNM, state-owned. Radio Don Bosco, Catholic. Radio Lazan Irivo RLI Glory of Irivo Private Radio Antsiva Private Radios 3.05 million 1997 Television stations Television Malagasy TVM has an extensive national network reach privately owned TV broadcasters in cities and major towns relays of two international broadcasters are available in Antananarivo 2007 Television Malagasy TVM state owned Radio Television Analamanga RTA private Madagascar TV MATV private Television sets, 325,000 former President, Mark Ravalomanana, and current leader Andri Rajolina own broadcasting outlets. <laughs> <laughs> Media restrictions Although the law provides for freedom of speech, authorities severely restrict freedom of speech by intimidating opponents and resorting to imprisonment or violence when threats fail to dissuade critics. The de facto Minister of Communications targeted those who expressed dissent, sending official warning letters to news outlets whose coverage displeased the regime. From 2010 through 2012 an estimated 80 radio and television station licenses withdrawn and the stations ordered suspend broadcasting immediately. By the end of 2012 they had not been authorized to reopen. In September 2012 the editor of the national television station was suspended, reportedly for having opposition politicians on the air. Authorities also suspend journalists who continue to broadcast despite government warnings. 
To maintain access to sources and remain safe, journalists widely practiced self censorship. On 2 May 2012, authorities imprisoned the editors of the private radio station Free FM, Lalatiana Rakotendrazafi and Fidel Razara Pierre, for a two day investigation following a libel suit brought by Mami Ravatomunga, a well known backer of the de facto regime. Following a series of public rallies that same month marking the first anniversary of Free FM and calling for greater press freedom, the radio's editors were charged with provoking outrage against the regime, destruction of public goods, mounting opposition to security forces, and holding a public demonstration without authorization. On the 22nd of July 2012, authorities closed the radio station, and the two journalists and another colleague went into hiding. By the end of 2012 Free FM remained closed, but after a deal consented with the two journalists and the regime, initiated by Mami Ravatomunga, Lalatiana Rakotendrazafi is free and become the allied of the Rajolinas regime. Telephones <inaudible> 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 International call prefix, OO Main lines, 143,700 lines in use, 138th in the world 2012, provided by Telma Telecom Malagasy. Mobile cellular, 8.6 million lines, 89th in the world 2012. Teledensity, 40 per 100 persons, combined fixed line and mobile cellular 2010. Telephone system – System is above average for the region, Antananarivo's main telephone exchange modernized in the late 1990s, but the rest of the analog-based telephone system is poorly developed, open wire lines, coaxial cables, microwave radio relay, and tropospheric scatter links 2010. Communications cables, 2, Lower Indian Ocean Network line, connecting Madagascar, Reunion, and Mauritius, Eastern Africa Submarine Cable System EC, connecting Sudan, Djibouti, Somalia, Kenya, Comoros, Tanzania, Madagascar, Mozambique, and South Africa. Satellite Earth Stations, 1 Intelsat Indian Ocean and 1 Intersputnik Atlantic Ocean Region 2010. Internet Top-level domain, MG Internet users, 452,185 users, 133rd in the world, 2.1% of the population, 201st in the world 2012. Fixed broadband, 9,242 subscriptions, 150th in the world, less than 0.05% of the population, 187th in the world 2012. Wireless broadband, unknown 2012. Internet hosts, 38,392 hosts, 127th in the world 2012. IPv4 to 62,208 addresses allocated, less than 0.05% of the world total, 2.8 addresses per 1,000 people 2012. Internet service providers ISPs, as of 2006, DTS, http colon slash slash www.dts.mg slash Simicro, http colon slash slash www.simicro.mg slash Blue Line Golfsat, http colon slash slash www.golfsat.mg in 2005 Blue Line was the first operator in the Indian Ocean area to launch a WiMAX based network for broadband internet access topic Internet censorship and surveillance There are generally no restrictions on access to the Internet, or reports that the de facto government monitors email or Internet chat rooms. However, the de facto Minister of Communication made several statements throughout 2012 about restricting the Internet. Political groups, parties, and activists use the Internet extensively to advance their agendas, share news, and criticize other parties. 
Although there have been allegations of technical sabotage of some web sites, the Internet is considered among the more reliable sources of information, as many Internet servers were outside the country and cannot be regulated by the regime. The Constitution and law provide for freedom of speech and press, but the de facto regime and military actors actively and systematically impeded the exercise of freedoms of expression and of the press. The law prohibits arbitrary interference with privacy, family, home, or correspondence, but homes and workplaces of opposition groups are subject to arbitrary searches without warrants. Regime security personnel also punished family members for alleged offenses committed by individuals. See also Madagascar Economy of Madagascar